Hi, welcome to day eight of the Viewfinder song explanations and the song Happy Ever After. Now this song contains one of my favorite chord shapes um, and it is what they call the Hendrix chord. Um, and it's, a, I think, I, you know, I don't even know the name of it. <laughs> I think it's a diminished chord of some description, but it's, it's, um, I, I kind of love the shape of it. It's got a very natural feel to the way that the, the chord shape sits in your, phys physically sits in your hand. Perhaps we'll put up a little picture of the, of the chord shape so you understand what I mean. It's just there, look. Okay, um, so, and I think we, with the way that I write songs, I write in a number of ways. Nine times out of 10, it all comes at once. But I have to be inspired, I have to have a spark of an idea. And I remember messing around with this chord shape and thinking, I love the spiky nature of this sound. Um, I want to write something around it and it very quickly emerged it was something that um that didn't take hardly any effort at all uh and the best ideas are always like that they they they, they you know i often sort of say if it takes longer than 20 minutes to, to write a song it probably isn't good enough or it probably isn't isn't strong enough so uh this song took a very short space of time to write and it was at the period um when i was writing the first um of the guitar, bass and drums EPs uh, and was really inspired to kind of get back on the road and do, do some gigs. And so I wanted some live, really exciting sounding songs um, that could reinvent me as a guitar player and reinvent me as a, as a songwriter specifically. Uh, and I was working with um, Dean Howard, who was the guitar player into power and is a good friend of mine. And Dean had joined the ranks of the band. And um, it just seemed it just seemed right to me, this song, you know. And you know, it taught again. It's it's one of my kind of protest songs, but it's also a little bit judgmental. I've often sort of thought, you know, maybe I was pointing the finger a little bit too much. But it does refer to to, to me as a, in the first person. I remember making that decision quite early on with the lyric. So it just talks about you know the selfish nature of the human condition. And again, this is a theme that I come back to again and again and again. Really, is that you know it's very easy to be selfish. It's very easy just to think about ourselves and not about others, have no sympathy. Um, and so the question in the chorus is questioning that concept, you know. Is this happy ever after? Is this what this is, life is all about? Surely there's got to be more to, to life. And, and I think if we all were able to um, be a little bit kinder, a little bit more sympathetic, a little bit more, uh, and show a little bit more empathy towards other people's situations, then the place would be uh, an awful lot happier. So that in a nutshell is what it's about. Be